Hello and welcome to another update video about XRP. XRP has seen a little bit of a, of a sell-off in the last few days. Um, so we want to talk about the structure. I um, want to show you the daily chart and um, yeah, overall just remind you of the overall structure that we see here on the XRP chart. Um, you see the structure of the 2020 low. So the idea is that XRP is currently moving in a sideways range. I mean, everybody sees that. So it's this kind of potential triangle that's unfolding here. A wave, B wave. Okay, is the C wave finished? Maybe, possibly it's still extending. That's my view. C wave still extending. Then a D wave down, E wave, and that can take a long time. That's at least one scenario here that I see is quite likely just due to the fact that this is just moving in corrective patterns. Now, if XRP manages to break above $2.06, I mean, that would invalidate the idea of this triangle. Until then, it really has space. Even the C wave of the triangle could, of course, move higher. Um, but I've obviously just added the trend line here that's relevant. Um, so the C wave might reach that trend line. It's an idea, okay? It's an idea. Now, basically, the assumption would be we are in the C wave of that triangle. Now, how would the C wave play out? So the idea is with the latest price action, and this is gonna change a lot because remember XRP sold off to the downside, broke below micro support, but I, I want you that XRP doesn't like to do five wave patterns. So, you know, it's just continuing to, to move in corrective structures, which makes it extremely challenging. So we still give our best, you know, but it's not a chart that gives a lot of clarity generally, wh whatever TA method you use. Um, in, in this C wave, which is often a very complex corrective structure, in this case, I'm labeling it as a WXY structure. The chart started here in June 22 with the wave W complete. Then we have an X wave that's probably still unfolding, which is an A wave, the recent top in November 23 in a B wave. And now the price is coming down in wave C. And then this would be an X wave low, W, X and the Y wave would still follow afterwards. So that might be XRP's way to participate in the bull market, you know, to maybe, yeah, we'll, we'll see if how high it will go then, but it needs to start the Y wave. I cannot give you a target for the Y wave because I don't even have the X wave complete. Now, if we look at the overall triangle, typically a target for a C wave in a triangle is calculated as follows. We take the length of the A wave go to the low of the B wave, and then we typically take the area, well, it's typically between the 38.2 extension and the 61.8 extension, but more often in the region around the 61.8 extension. So we talk about $1.69, yeah, somewhere in between, again, it's this trend line. Um, if I go to the four hour chart, you see here this A wave, B wave, yeah, I mean, we could be in this C wave down, Difficult to say, is it finished or not? Ideally, if this is a C wave, we would like to see the price go below the 43.2 cent level. And if we talk about Fibonacci extensions, then an ideal target is the 100% extension level. So it might even come down to 34 cents, okay? Okay, it doesn't need to. There is a level before that we can watch, which is 78.6 extension at 40.8 cents. So that's where I'll leave it. And um, yeah, for, at the moment there is, there's nothing, um, there's no sign that a low is in place until the price really, I mean, at the very least, I'd like to see a break above that swing high here, which is at 66 cents. A move higher would take us to 16, well, 70. So we've got two resistance levels at 66, 70, and then here that B wave high at 75. These are the next resistance levels. I, I won't label the micro because literally this would simply be in a C wave, a one, two, three, four, five, but it's not so reliable. This chart is just, you know, it's just a bit big of big mess basically, right? I cannot even rule out that this B wave, I mean, it might even be unfolding as a triangle. That's the problem with these corrective structures. I think the main benefit of Elliott wave analysis is here to understand where the range is sitting. Um, what are the main targets sort of for wave C? You know, it can still go lower. That's likely at this stage. But to be honest, it would also need to break below this trend line here. So there's a trend line to watch on the smaller time frame here. So we can um, just 
so that needs to break to really come down in wave c as long as that's holding i mean there, there are many patterns that could unfold here so i think it's worth to stay until things have clarified themselves a little bit on this chart might be worth staying a little bit on the higher time frame the idea of an elliott wave triangle remains a valid idea as long as the price stays above 28.6 cents which is the low that formed in june 22. that's my update about xrp hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership also make sure that you follow us on instagram and twitter for additional content thanks a lot for watching bye bye